Are you aware that in Manitoba, we have one of the highest rates of kidney failure in Canada? In fact, this week alone, more than 1,400 Manitobans will spend 12 to 20 hours each connected to a dialysis machine to artificially clean their blood. As you can guess, this is time consuming, it's laborious, and it's expensive. Kidney transplant is an alternative to dialysis where we take a working kidney from someone willing to donate and we use it to replace the function the patient has lost. And studies show that transplant recipients have improved quality of life, improved survival, and reduced cost. But it's not perfect because the immune system has the ability to recognize when a foreign tissue enters the body. And it will try to attack and destroy that kidney just like it was a virus or bacteria. So in my research, we are searching for new ways to match kidneys between donors and recipients in order to reduce the likelihood of this immune attack. Now, when we match kidneys, what we're really doing is matching the proteins on the surface of kidney cells. To give you an analogy, imagine I gave you each some Lego and I asked you to build a house. In the end, we'd have a variety of houses, but if we tried, we could categorize them into groups like bungalows, two stories, and duplexes. And this is what we've been doing with these proteins we're trying to match for years. We categorize them based on detail that we could understand, and then we would try to match the bungalows with the bungalows or the duplexes with the duplexes. However, with today's advances in genetics and protein modeling, we can now see the structural detail of these proteins better than ever before. So instead of just matching a bungalow with a bungalow, we can actually take a bungalow with blue doors and green windows and a pink chimney and match it to other patients with exactly those characteristics. In fact, in my research, we've shown that if these characteristics are not well matched, that the immune system responds by producing antibodies. And patients with these antibodies have a 40% lower kidney survival at 10 years as you can see on the bottom left of my slide. On the right, you see one of these proteins, and when we studied these structures in great detail, we were able to define specific areas that were much more likely to be attacked by the immune system when they were not matched. So coming back to your Lego house, this means it may be more important to match the doors on your house compared to whether or not the windows match. And this is really key because it greatly reduces the complexity of trying to match every single brick of Lego to just focusing on the ones that matter to the immune system. It's our hope that by using this technology to match the key areas on the proteins that we can reduce the likelihood of an immune attack and thus increase the longevity of the kidneys. In turn, this would reduce healthcare costs, but more importantly, increase both the quantity and quality of life for patients with kidney failure. Thank you.